Hi, we're doing a demonstration of how to set up a four screw leveling instrument. From any vantage point it's hard to tell that there's four, but there's two here and two here. So when this, attach, when this instrument is attached to the tripod, one of the first things you need to do is tighten and loosen the opposing leveling screws so that you don't have too much tension in, in the leveling screws. Uh, make sure the tripod legs are uh, firmly spread, uh, are widely set apart, and then you firmly set them in the ground. Once you are reasonably sure that you are low over the point which happens to be a tack on this stake that I have in the ground. I'm using a plumb bob system for doing the centering. So I'm going to push the tripod legs in the ground and see if I have any adjustments I need to do. Which always st keep stabilizing the plumb bob to check on where your position is. So the first thing probably that should be done is to extend the plumb bob string so that the plumb bob point is almost touching the nail. And then what I'll do is loosen the draw screw up here underneath the tripod head and move the instrument around and you'll need to constantly keep coming down to stabilize the plumb bob so that it's not swinging too far. This is a bit of a windy day, so it's always a problem. Sometimes it helps to have an assistant uh, blocking the wind. And uh, sometimes you just have to pay attention to the way the plumb bob is swinging and be satisfied that it's approximately equally on either side. Once we think we have that, you turn the tripod fixing screw, and then what you do is you set up the instrument so that the level bubble, which is down here, is parallel to the line connecting two leveling screws. So it's about like that. And then I'm going to look over the top of the instrument, and while I loosen one uh, leveling screw, I'll tighten the other one. So you go in opposing directions, and the bubble will move in the direction of my left thumb. So I'm at, right now the bubble is to my left, and as I turn, my left thumb is moving to the right, and so it'll cause the bubble to move to the right. Once I have it pretty well centered, this is a, only a rough start, so you don't have to be too picky. Turn it 90 degrees so that now the bubble is parallel to the line connecting the other two leveling screws and I repeat the process. So this time I want the bubble to go away from me so my uh, the left hand thumb rule, if you want to call it that, uh, we're going to, is going to require quite a bit of rotation of the uh, two leveling screws until I get the bubble fairly well centered. Again, don't be too picky when you start. Once you get there, turn 90 de degrees back to the original position, which I'm going to call position one, and really refine the position of the bubble this time. So get it a lot closer to being accurately centered. And once we have that, Turn it 90 degrees back to position 2 and do the same thing. And I actually have to go slightly in the opposite direction. Now that I have it centered in these two directions, good practice is to check the adjustment of the bubble by going to, I'm going to call this position 3, which is across from position 1, to make sure the bubble is centered, and it is. And then to position 4, which is across from position 2, to make sure it's centered. So now that it's centered, we check the position of the plumb bob string again. I lengthen the plumb bob string a bit to get it closer to the point of the stake. 
and it's oscillating but it's coming towards me a little bit so I'm going to loosen the tripod fixings bolt and move the entire instrument on the head of the tripod and of course the problem with doing this is that even though the tripod head is flat you will discover that you've thrown the instrument off level at least a little bit so I'm going to check one more time but this time do it precisely because the movement would be very slight and so I'm bringing it back to center and I turn to position two and bring it back to center and really because I checked in my original leveling about it being centered here and here which is a check that the level bubble itself is in adjustment then I am leveled up and I'm centered on the point now I couldn't get the plumb bob string to excuse me the plumb bob to stop swinging because the wind is pretty hard normally if there's no wind you can do this and it'll stop but I have to judge it from two directions so I'm looking at, the, looking at it in the direction of the swinging and I can tell it's passing over the point then I'm looking at 90 degrees to it and I have to compensate for the fact that the wind is blowing in one direction and feel pretty confident that I'm probably centered uh, within about an eighth of an inch on that tack. So that completes the leveling and centering process with this type of instrument.